around and we're also alumin uh, milling aluminum for the first time here, which is exciting. Yep, I have not milled aluminum on the sand stains, so that's cool. So a few firsts for this go. Yeah. We need an air sign. <laughs> we need an on air sign. <laughs> Make your kids oh, did we interrupt you? We need an on-air sign! Where's the on-air <laughs> sign? Well, I guess it's time to make an on-air sign. So what I'm going to do is try to design this in an open source way so you can create your own custom sign or lamp for your home or office. I've got some sketches to do, so let's get to it. So the sign consists of a few plywood parts. We've got the top, we've got the bottom, and we've got the back. The top is gonna to be stack laminated with two of the same patterned parts, but the inside one right here is actually gonna have a lane for the acrylic to slot into. Top and bottom are done. Now, I've got to try and line these up. These are just some spacers. So now we've got to figure out a way to hold this whole thing together, and I think I came up with a really simple solution with this screw. It acts as the keystone to the whole design. If you take it out, it uh, allows you to access the battery, take all the parts apart, and you screw it together, it locks everything nice and tight. I think we're gonna need one more clamp. You think you can get me a clamp? Very kind. Look at this little spider thing going on. It's terrifying. All right, now that everything's glued up, we're gonna take probably three hours. Uh, we'll circle back to these when that glue is dry. So I'm gonna need to figure out a way to tackle this super complex acrylic piece, and I'm gonna use a technique that I saw a friend uh, use at art school to make a chair that I remember. And what he did was he made a plywood mold uh, that he attached a piece of acrylic to and used a heat gun to bend to form. So we're going to need to do that for this project. So what's so cool about this technique is we actually take the bent piece of acrylic, put it back on the mold, and throw it back in the laser cutter where we're gonna flip it on each side and laser etch the on air into the acrylic. Check it out. So we've got the acrylic piece out of the laser. It looks absolutely amazing. It's engraved on all three sides. Next up, I've gotta take all the clamps off all of the plywood pieces, and then we're gonna do a test fit. Boom, look at that. Well, it fits like expected, like it's planned. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna glue the back to the bottom and then I'm gonna scuff the inside of the acrylic so we get some sort of diffusing going on. And I'll meet you back here after that. So we just finished sanding up the inside of the acrylic piece. Uh, this is sanded because we're hoping that it will diffuse the light that we're gonna be putting inside of the on-air sign. Um, I just finished unclamping these. Uh, we're just gonna do a quick test fit, make sure everything goes together nicely. So we ran around the shop for a little while and just couldn't figure out what to throw in here that was going to fit just right. So Jeff quickly printed me up this perfect, you know, double walled cylinder. I think you could replicate this so many different ways. Just go get some PVC from the big box store and you're probably you know, that'll work perfectly. Next up, I've got to get these LEDs, um, light up LEDs, just taped up around this thing. We're gonna throw it all back together and we're gonna see how it looks. So I just wrapped the LEDs around the, the little tube that we printed out and I actually tucked the battery pack right behind it. I just kind of hot glued it all in so it doesn't go anywhere as we move it around. The next step is to assemble it all and check out how it looks lit up. So I'm going to put all this together now and we'll we'll check it out. All 
the moment of truth. Boom. How about that? Um, I mean, there's a lot of lights around here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take this, run to a room that's a little bit darker, so we can actually see if the light is diffusing really well. I can kind of see the lights now, and it's like, like right through here, so it kind of bugs me a little bit, so let's get up there and just you know see how it looks in a little bit darker environment. So we threw the LEDs behind the engraved on air acrylic part, and we saw that they were a little too harsh. What we needed to do was take a few steps to diffuse that light and make it a little more even. I sanded the back of the acrylic, and then if you didn't know this, there's amazing diffusion material in the back of monitors. So we broke into one of those, grabbed that material, and it made a world of a difference. So I dug down to the good stuff in the, the monitor, and I got out the films of material that we're gonna be testing out in the on-air sign. Um, this seems like the one we're going to be using. It's a really nice diffuser. This is kind of more of a mild diffuser. Not sure why you need this one when you've got this one, but who knows. And then you got kind of the coolest material I think I have ever seen. Check it out. It's crazy. But we're not going to be using it sadly for this project, so that gets tossed. I'm gonna go cut this to size so it's gonna fit in here. We'll see what it looks like. See you back here in a minute. So I just got the sheet cut to size. It's time to toss it in there and we'll see how it looks. Not too bad. What do you think, Ross? Nice. Check it out, the uh, on-air sign is installed and it looks great. I'm super happy with how it came out. If you wanna make one of these, all of the information in the files will be up on our GitHub. If you wanna make something with some of the tips that we learned on this, like bending acrylic, laser etching, a 3D form, or you know, just making some sort of lighter sign, there's a lot to take away from this. I've got another one to make, so I'm gonna head back in the shop and get to it. I'll see you guys later, hope you enjoyed the video.